you must have noticed this. Even if one tiny bulb of a fairy light, the kind we buy for Diwali or Christmas gets spoiled, the entire fairy light stops working. Just one bulb is gone and suddenly none of the others glow. What a shame, right? Feels so wasteful. But then, think about this. You can happily watch TV even while switching off the light in your room. Is this some kind of magic, children? Not really. Let's try to understand. Alright, first things first, let's build ourselves a circuit. To make a circuit, we obviously need the parts. So what do we need? Uh, definitely a cell or a battery. And that's the, part, that's the energy source. Then, of course, wires to connect everything. And we'll need a bulb. Actually, a lot of bulbs. Oh, and don't forget the switch. Switch is like the gatekeeper. It decides whether the current can pass or not. Cool, right? Yes, so let's start simple. We connect all of them up. Battery, wires, bulb and switch and the bulb is glowing. Nice, it works. Now, let's make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to connect three bulbs, one after the another in a row. This type of connection is called a series connection. Why series? Because they are literally connected in series, back to back, one after the other, like a chain. Switch it on and oh look, all three bulbs are glowing. But wait, notice something? The glow isn't as bright as before. Hmm. When we just had one bulb, it was shining brighter. Now with three, they look dimmer. Why is that? Well, think about it. Our battery is like a box of snacks. And it has to share its energy among three bulbs. So each bulb gets a smaller share. That's why they are glowing dimmer. Now, what if I get even more greedy and add one more bulb to series? Yep. Now the battery has to share with four bulbs, which means each bulb get even less energy. And the glow gets weaker. Makes sense, right? Yes. But here is the tricky part. What happens if I remove one bulb from the series or if I disconnect one bulb from the series? Let's try it. Oh, look at that. The entire chain goes off. The whole thing shuts down. Why? Because in series connection, the current has only one single path to flow. It goes from one bulb to the next to the next and finally back to the battery. If one bulb is removed or stops working, that single path is broken and current can complete its journey. That's exactly what happens with festival lights. If one tiny bulb stops, the whole row goes dark. And one more thing. If you keep adding more and more bulbs to a series, the energy keeps getting divided, so each bulb gets dimmer and dimmer. Now let's try a different setup, all right? Break this off. There we go. Delete this, go, delete this, delete that. Yep. Now let's connect each of them separately across the cell. Yeah? Like this. We bring the bat bulbs. Yes. We connect the wires. Yes. Separately across the cell. See this? This type of connection is called a parallel uh, connection. Switch it on. Whoa. All the bulbs glow. And look at carefully. Each bulb is glowing with just as bright as if it were alone. Amazing, right? Why does this happen? That's because in parallel connection, each bulb gets the full energy from the cell. They don't have to share. If you look closely at the wires, you'll see that each bulb was directly connected to the battery. And in series connection, they were and each bulb had to, I mean, current had to sort of pass through the others to get to the each bulb. But here it's like every bulb has its own private line to the battery or the battery or the current has its own private line to the uh, bulb. No sharing, no waiting, just direct access. Now, let's test something. What if I remove one bulb? Look at that. The other bulbs are still glowing at the same brightness. Why? Because in a parallel connection, the current actually splits up. If there are four bulbs, the current divides into four parts, one for each bulb. So even if one bulb is removed, the current still flows through the other part and the rest of the bulbs keep glowing happily. And this, my friend, is exactly why our homes are wired in parallel. Imagine if they weren't. One bulb blows and bam, the whole house goes dark. That would be a nightmare, right? We don't want that. Thanks to parallel connection, that doesn't happen. You can switch off the light in your room and watch TV because of parallel connection. Each device gets the full energy it needs. So really be grateful to the parallel connection for that, right? 
Now, let's wrap this up by looking at the key takeaways from both series connection and parallel connections. What I'm drawing is here is called a schematic diagram. Now, what's that? Well, instead of drawing a full realistic looking battery or a proper illustration of a bulb, Forget that, I can't draw, we just use symbols. So we use schematic diagrams to keep things simple, neat and effective. So here is a schematic diagram for a series connection and the key takeaways are, the battery's energy is shared among all the bulbs, so the more bulbs you add, the dimmer they get. The current has only one path, so if one bulb stops working, the whole chain of bulb goes off. Now let's look at the schematic diagram for a parallel connection. You can see the symbols for the bulb, battery, bulb and switch. What are the key takeaways here? In parallel connection, each bulb gets full share of energy from the battery. No sharing required. Right? The current has multiple paths. So if one bulb stops working, no problem, the others will glow happily.